as an administrator responsible for a SAS environment, wouldn't it be nice to be notified when an unauthorized logon is attempted? SAS Environment Manager provides the ability to track and alert on events that are recorded in SAS logs. Keep watching to see how you can be proactively notified when an unauthorized logon is attempted in a SAS deployment. I'm Jerry Nelson with SAS and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise series. SAS Environment Manager can monitor the log files for SAS servers and automatically create events for messages that are recorded in those logs. Each SAS server has a log tracking service configured to track logs in the default log directory of the server. That file, the Sev Log Tracker Plugin Properties file, can be edited to configure events based on patterns in SAS logs. Events are added at specific logging levels, and the text to fire an event is entered as a regular expression. The file contains entries for each type of SAS server log entry that SAS Environment Manager looks for. You can add to this file to create events for criteria of your choosing. Each SAS server has its own properties file, so logging events can be created for every specific server type within SAS. In this session, we'll generate an alert based on an unauthorized logon attempt to the SAS metadata server. When this occurs, the metadata server will generate a number of messages in the log. The message which we will use to trigger the event is the one on the screen. Part of the string says rejected from server port 8561. Using a regular expression that identifies this message, we can create an alert in Environment Manager when any connection to the metadata server is rejected. Let's get to the demo. Let's go look at the log that we want to track. It's under SAS Meta, Metadata Server Logs. And within that log, let's go and find the string that appears in the log when there is a client connection that is rejected for an invalid logon. And there in the log, you can see the string new can client connection rejected from server port 8561. So that's what we'll want to try and track in our log tracking. Now we'll look at the file that's used to configure log tracking and it's in that metadata server directory and the file is called sev underscore log tracker underscore plugin dot properties. If I open that, we can see that there is one message being tracked right now and that is logouts in the metadata server. We can add another tracking message under that at the warning level. We could also add tracking for error messages or fatal messages. So I'll add the message level warn.2 equals and then the string we enter is entered using pattern matching. And what we want to enter is star dot star rejected from server port 8561 and then dot star. Then we'll want to save and close that file. And that is basically all we need to do to set up log tracking on that message for that log. Now log tracking is set up automatically for those logs, but we can go and check the settings in SAS Environment Manager just to see how that's done. So I will log into Environment Manager as the unrestricted user. Select resources, browse, and servers. And I'm going to search for SAS Meta. Then select the SAS Meta metadata server. And then go into tools. configure server we can see that server log tracking is enabled for logs for 
the log files are specified with a pattern and the configuration file is the file that we edited. So we can cancel that and we'll go and create an error in SAS Management Console by selecting a profile with a bad log on. We see that we get an error message from SAS Management Console that there has been someone attempting to log on and now we'll just wait and go back to SAS Environment Manager to see if the error occurs. Switch over to SAS Environment Manager and we're in the SAS Meta Metadata Server but we'll go to Analyze and Event Center and then the first event there on the top there we can see is a warning message that there's been a person who had a logon rejected to the SAS metadata server. So in that way we can track these things without having to always go look at the logs. This has been a brief look at generating events from SAS logs. We applied the approach to notify an administrator of an unauthorized logon attempt. Is it easy to see that this technique could be extended to notify administrators of any event that's recorded in a SAS log? For example, a change to security on SAS content, the access or update of a SAS table, or a change to users and groups. For more information, you can see SAS Environment Manager and the Service Architecture Framework information on the Enterprise Management Integration Focus Area on support.sas.com. Thanks for listening and check back for more tips and tricks.